Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing, installation, and review of the solar powered trailer tire monitoring system from TireMinder. This tire minder system is designed for trailers 25 feet or less with a tire pressure of 70 psi or less. Our tire pressure on this trailer is 50 psi, so we're well within the limits. Now the trailer itself is a Coachman Freedom Express 254 DSX. So the floor space is 25 feet and they advertise this as a 25 foot trailer. However, it's actually about 30 feet. So I'm hoping this is going to work out okay. It should be a real test at the outer limits of what they say this tire pressure monitoring system can do. I got this TPMS system because last month I had a blowout while I was traveling along a highway on a way to a camping trip. I had the cruise control set at 100 kilometers per hour, which is approximately 62 miles per hour. And I was traveling along, didn't notice anything change in the drive at all. All of a sudden a truck pulls up and a woman in the passenger seat is frantically waving her arms and pointing to our trailer. So I immediately pulled over and stopped, had a look on the passenger side, the front wheel was completely blown apart. All that was left was a little bit of rubber on the rim. Now we were very fortunate that we had that blowout when somebody was behind us and that they were able to tell us this happened. If we would have kept on going, who knows what kind of damage could have been done. We could have had the trailer go on fire. So I decided I didn't want to rely on the kindness of strangers to tell me when I have a tire blowout. I also want to have fewer tires blowing out. With a tire pressure monitoring system such as this one, it tells you the pressure in each tire in PSI or bar. We use PSI here. And it also tells you the temperature in the tire. You can use Celsius or Fahrenheit. We're in Canada, we use Celsius. So if you notice a tire increasing in temperature at an abnormal rate compared to the other three tires, you know you might be having an issue there and you can pull over and get it checked out. Also, if you see the pressure going down on a tire, you can pull over and get it taken care of before you have a blowout. So this system is very valuable. It pays for itself in just preventing one blowout. I released a video last month of a tour of our RV with modifications and updates. And in that video, I asked for people to give me their suggestions on what type of TPMS to get. And I had some great response from that. And this is one of the systems that was recommended for me. Now the person that recommended it had a 22 foot trailer and my trailer is 25 or 30 feet depending on uh, what measurement you take. But I thought I'd give it a try. Mostly because the price was right. Many of the systems that I looked at specifically for RVs and trailers went from $400, $500, $600, $700 dollars. This one was $190 on Amazon. Also in my research I saw a lot of TPMS systems that were $30, $40, $50 dollars. Now those were Chinese knockoffs and when you have a better look at them you realize they're not specifically meant for trailers. There's no signal booster. I wouldn't trust one of those systems. I wanted to get a legitimate one with a signal booster that will do the job that I need it to do. With that being said, let's get right into the unboxing. And here we have the uh, display module. That's just a sticker on the front there that actually uh, will be removed, but that shows you how the display works. Three buttons on the top. On the back you have your solar panel, and you have the 3M sticky tape to attach this to your windshield. You've got your sensors. and power cord. This is a solar powered system, but uh, if you don't have any power from solar, you can still plug this in. This is a uh, micro USB. And let's get in underneath here. Okay, in here, this is the signal booster. 
has alligator clips on here that you attach to your battery. Then you attach this signal booster uh, probably on the framing right near your battery. So it looks like it has a fairly long cord for that. Comes with, looks like two, four, six, eight batteries. Each of these sensors has a battery, so it gives you a whole uh, spare set of batteries. That's kind of handy. Has a special wrench with these nuts on here that go onto your valve stem. It prevents the sensors from being stolen and it would also prevent them from just loosening up on their own and falling off. This is some uh, 3M tape on here and Velcro. So you can attach this to the back of here and to your windshield. So you don't actually have to have this attached to your windshield permanently. That's also a warranty card. And of course, the instructions. So let's get into setting it up. Step number one. Install the hardwired signal booster using the instructions located inside the booster pouch. Take the alligator clamps that are attached to the signal booster. You attach the black to the negative, so black to black, and red to the positive, red to red, and they just go on simply like that. Then you have a look at the booster and make sure the green light is on. The recommendation is that you attach the signal booster on the undercarriage of the trailer. Uh, best spot is near the tongue as it's at the midway point between the trailer wheels and the monitor. You strap the booster with cable ties. Also use cable ties for the loose wire. You take any extra wire and you put it in here just so you don't have loose wire hanging around. Step two, install the batteries in the sensors. Do it one at a time because you want to ensure the cap stays on the correct sensor. Put the battery in, flat side up. Just pop it in. Yep. Number two. I can turn on the unit by pressing the power button on the top. Lights up. Now that we've got our unit set, we'll get into the pressure for each tire. Holding down the top button for five seconds, and it's flashing at 36 for each tire. This is where you put in the uh, tire pressure you're supposed to have at cold. So I'm supposed to have I'll press the top button. I'm supposed to have 50 PSI, so I'll get right down there to 50. And then press the power button to go to the next one. Do the same thing. Set the power button to the last one. Now they're all set at 50. That's where they should be. Press and hold the main button again, the power button. Goes back to here. Nothing's flashing. That's good. It's not registering any pressure, of course, because my sensors are sitting right here, not registering, not measuring any pressure. This also is a uh, dimmer. Brings it up bright there. It'll stay bright for a little while, and then eventually it goes dim again. You can press the power switch just to bring it up bright again. If you want to turn the monitor completely off, hold the power button down for a full 10 seconds. So the sensors go on starting at the front left tire and you go clockwise around. So this is the front left. This is going to be sensor number one. You need to make sure you put it in the proper order. You put the uh, nut on first, just loosely put it back there. Make sure it's back far enough that this will go on all the way. That's number one. You screw it on, you can hear a little bit of air coming off. It's no problem. Put it on hand tight. Take the little wrench behind. We'll snug up the nut behind, making it push up against the back of the sensor. 
put the little nut on, just tighten it to the left a little bit, and it's on. Do that for each one. Let's turn it on and have a look. It sees two of the tires, pressure, one at 46 PSI and one at 47 PSI, which seems to be accurate. Uh, I checked the pressure uh, a couple weeks ago and they were all around 50 and uh, putting these caps on it did lose a little bit of pressure. Let's see if the uh, other tires register. Also shows the temperature at 13 degrees Celsius and 14 degrees Celsius and the uh, current temperature outside is actually 14 degrees Celsius so that seems accurate. Got another tire register 47 PSI, 13 degrees Celsius, and we're just waiting for the last one. And there's the last one. 47 PSI, 14 degrees Celsius. So it does seem to be pretty accurate right now. That's where I'd guess they would uh, all be. Now what this does is it actually checks the uh, pressure and temperature every six seconds. So you will know if you have a uh, deflating tire. So I'm not actually hooked up to my trailer right now. I'm a little further away from the trailer than I would be when I'm hooked up. It is still showing, so it still seems to be reading all right. So that's pretty good. So basically all we do is we put the system up here so that we can always see the tire pressure. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Velcro strips and I'm gonna Add it up there. Let's put it up here nicely. There. Give it a good press. There it is. I can still touch the buttons. Everything's good. Shows the battery. It's fairly charged. PSI looks good. Temperature looks good. Everything looks correct. Wow, that was an incredibly easy installation. I followed the directions that were in the box and everything worked out exactly as it was supposed to. I've even got my truck parked further away from the trailer than it would be when it's hooked up and it's still measuring everything correctly and accurately. So I'm very impressed so far. But the real test is when we head down the road. So we're going to do that next. We're going to take it for a little road test. 50. 50.4, 50.2, So we measured each of them to be 50, uh, and they're showing uh, 48 and 49. I don't know how accurate my uh, actual pressure tester is, but this looks uh, pretty accurate, and that is the uh, correct outside temperature right now. So we'll see how it goes as we drive. So we've traveled about 100 kilometers or 60 miles. Shows the uh, tire pressure 53, 53, 56, 55. Uh, and the temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. It makes sense, tire pressure will go up as you travel and the temperature will go up. So it all looks pretty good. Never. We took it out for a real good test drive. We uh, went 250 kilometers, which is about 150 miles. Went on a camping trip over a long weekend and the trailer tire pressure monitoring system worked perfectly had no issues with it as we drove it showed the pressure go up about uh, three four psi the temperature go up about uh, you know four or five degrees celsius above uh, the outside air temperature all that's to be expected worked beautifully uh, it was a nice drive i didn't have to constantly be looking in my side view mirrors trying to see my trailer tires Usually I can't even see them, so I'm looking as I'm doing every turn, trying to check out the tires. So, I give this a very good passing grade. This is a good system. The trailer tire pressure monitoring system from TireMinder, and it's the solar version. 